Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have here an article that actually raises some questions um, that have to do with, um, I think, a little double standard, but um, it's double standard because I think certain people were not involved in uh, uh, determining what kind of uh, actions should be taken against this subject versus this subject. And I'm talking about Germany and Japan. We have an article here from Sputnik and it's from uh, today, which is the 17th of October 2022. China protests against Jap Jap Japanese Prime Minister's ritual offering to Yasukuni Shrine. So China protests against Japanese Prime Minister's ritual offering to Yasukuni Shrine. If you're not familiar with what Yasukuni Shrine is, it's where some uh, Second World War military uh, personnel was buried, including some war criminals. So Beijing lodged a strong protest with Tokyo against Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida's ritual offering to the Yasukuni Shrine, uh, Yasukuni Shrine which is associated with Japanese mili militarism in Asian countries, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Wang Webin said on Monday. And he says the Chinese side strongly protests Japan's negative actions linked with the Yasukumi Shrine and has already made a strong representation to the Japanese side, Wang told in a briefing. China called on Japan to completely sever ties with the militaristic past and earn the trust of neighboring countries in Asia as well as the world community, the spokesperson added. Uh, Kishida sent a ceremonial tree to the controversial temple earlier in the day on the occasion of the Shinto Autumn Festival, Japanese news agency Kyodo reported. Located in central Tokyo, the Yasukuni Shrine is a Shinto shrine founded in 1869 to commemorate those fallen in service of Japan. So it's not only Second World War. The shrine lists information about some 2.5 million people and animals that died while fighting for Japan, including over 1,000 war criminals, with 14 of them being A-class convicts, those who have been convicted convicted of planning, preparing, or waging wars. Since 2013, J Japan's prime ministers have refrained from visiting the shrine. Shinzo Abe was the last prime minister of the Asian nation to visit the shrine personally, and his visit in December 2013 caused a strong negative reaction in China and South Korea and led to a cooling in ties with the United States. Japan's prime ministers have since only sent offerings to the shrine. Well, well, well. So we have here some war criminals, right? So it says including over 1,000 war criminals with 14 of them being A-class convicts. And here comes uh, what I uh, picked this article for. Um, Japan, right? You know what happened in the Second World War, I'm guessing, and before, uh, in between the First World War and the Second World, what happened in, uh, what they did in China what they did in Manchuria, turn into Manchuko and all that and many others. So, you know, they have a certain ideology which was aligned with the Axis, which was Germany and uh, Italy, fascism and, uh, you know, Nazism, if you want to call it that way. So they had their own version of kind of like that. And they, may, they committed a lot of war crimes. Like, I'm not trying to... Um, defend anybody here. I'm just trying to point fingers and not point fingers uh, about things that cannot be uh, changed anymore. We all made mistakes and all that, but they should be called as they are and not uh, revered. And if my example, if my father uh, rapes someone, he should be called a rapist and, you know, be uh, convicted and charged, convicted and whatever. Uh, if your father commits uh, rape, should be the same uh, application of law and should be condemned the same way. Now we have here Japan, 
war crimes, let's put it in the context of Germany, German Second World War war crimes. If you remember uh, some uh, leaders uh, of, the, of Germany were, uh, some of them were abducted, some of them just said, oh, I give up, I'm coming and talking to you guys. Why? Because they thought they didn't do anything wrong, actually, some of them. And they said, well, I'm going to come. The Americans uh, with uh, Western civilization are going to, you know, put me in front of some judges and with some uh, prosecutors, attorneys, all that, evidence, and we're going to, I'm, why should, I'm, some did not see anything. It was a war, and war is war. I mean, people did this, people did that. And if com war, war crimes were committed here, pretty sure war crimes were committed everywhere, if you know what I mean. So they, uh, some of them naively, came in front of the Nuremberg trial and then they were hanged. Um, there are books uh, regarding the Nuremberg trials. I'm not talking about the, the books that are the ones that uh, spread a certain kind of uh, uh, position. I'm talking about those plus other information that uh, gives you more information on the issue, if you know what I mean. Wink, 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 wink. Okay, now, those guys were hanged. You know what happened to their bodies? All right, their bodies were burned and then scattered, whatever, okay? So they, why? For this shrine example. So you don't have uh, people come and, uh, you know, right, at the Shinto shrine, calling the spirits, that's what you do, right? And then all that. So then um, you don't do that. Well, that happened with the, with the uh, German leaders. Why didn't that happen? or maybe it did, and I'm not aware, with the Japanese uh, war criminals who were interned over there, they say, some of them. So how come is a double standard? Now, which one is it? War crime versus war crime. These guys burned them and scattered them. These guys, some of them did. I, I can't remember exactly what happened with the Japanese, but some of them are interned over there. So they are there. So wh why is that? Well, you can say the magnitude. Well, I don't know uh, if you, uh, I don't know, rape 20 girls versus uh, 10 girls or 5 girls. Isn't that not called rape? You're not a, a war criminal anymore? Yes, you are. So, um, I suspect it was, uh, um, there were some details that caused that to happen. And it's not the details coming from, because remember, those guys in Japan, were uh, responsible for the Asian crimes, right? Towards Asi Asian nations. And when they were put on trial, they were put under the supervision of the United States of America, obviously, which, you know, Asians on Asians, uh, Americans were looking over, uh, not much interest for the Americans in, uh, you know, being uh, as, uh, how should I put it, uh, uh, attentive to the Germans. Uh, as I said, uh, crime could be bigger here than over there. I totally see that, but I don't care if uh, there were 50 people killed or my father was killed. Uh, that those 50 people over there have no, they have not, the, they don't have the same value as my father in my heart, obviously. I would be an idiot to say, well, those 20 people over there that I don't know. Uh, no, no, I will not think that way because here we talk about uh, passion and love and all that. You love people or you don't. But in this case, is your relative, is your father or your mother or your son, your wife, whatever. They would always have more value than a stranger's, uh, uh, how should I put it, uh, your love for that stranger. So in this case, you have the Germans burned. And remember, again, go read some of the, if you didn't do, and if you didn't get uh, some books, just got, get some other books where they tell you who are the, uh, some of the prosecutors the United States uh, brought and the uh, Soviet Union brought, who led Soviet Union in those times. And um, you're going to see some connections. Like, for instance, you see now, um, how should I put it? It's like I'm a, um, let's say, Romanian president in the United States of America. Um, let's say, or not, not me, I was not born here. So let's say um, my children, right? Or my child becomes the U.S. president. And then, uh, you know, in uh, Europe, uh, you know, the French kill and massacre Romanians. And uh, then my child will uh, appoint prosecutors, Romanian prosecutors from the United States to go and prosecute the French war criminals 
for killing Romanians. Don't you see any, you know what I mean? I think that's not really uh, objective. If I, as a Romanian, appoint Romanian American uh, prosecutors and judges, and not judges, uh, prosecutors, to go over there and prosecute the French for killing Romanians. You don't say Romanian, Romanian, Romanian. Okay, well, check that out. So maybe that played a role why these guys were burned and you don't have any, you know, anything like that. But on the other hand, you, those guys go and can do this. When I'm doing this, I'm not uploading. But when you go in front of a Shinto shrine, you call the spirits like this and then all that. So, the, are the Chinese angry? Yeah, they are angry. Should they be angry? Yeah, they should be angry. And should the Japanese government say something about it? Yes, they should change something. Should the Americans say something? Yes, they should. But they don't. So uh, this is uh, how uh, double standard works. I suggest, uh, and I mentioned this many times, I suggest a book, a great book that gives you a lot of insight by a British historian. His name is, I will give you the first name, his name is David. And he wrote uh, Nuremberg Trials. You can find it. Uh, be careful with the book. And then, uh, because some countries might not allow uh, that book to be read by you. It depends where you live. Because that's how uh, governments are. If you know what I mean, you know. <laughs> uh, but it's only one uh, that I suggest. as many others uh, that you can uh, look into. It, that, it just gives you more information that's very relevant to certain things that are not told. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.